Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi my name is Pamela and on today's video I am doing something that I've been asked so many times to do and something that you guys just enjoy and love and it is in regards to the coveted, the loved, the beautiful, gorgeous, stunning Hoya Linearis. So today's video I am going to be telling you guys some tips and advice on how to care for this plant. This is a Hoya. So if you're interested in what I have to say, in my care and my advice, then keep on watching. <laughs> Welcome back guys before I even get started I just want to cheers you all to a lovely weekend a safe weekend a healthy weekend and just we got this guys we don't know what is going on all we can do yeah it's just hope for the best so cheers refreshing so let's get right into this video these are my two Hoya Linearis that I have in my collection this one is my most recent one I've had this for maybe three weeks now and it is from the site plant arena and this beauty right here I've had for almost a year now and it is from eBay it was from an eBay seller and this was my first Hoyo Linearis and I absolutely love it I'm actually going to link up here the unboxing that I have of this video if you're interested in seeing it and also a repotting of this video too no 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 move no No. I love this plant so much. I knew I needed to have a second one. So I seen that plant arena. She had these on sale um, a couple of weeks ago. And I decided I had to get my hand on one, one of them. So... Overall, I have all the unboxing of this plant too, so I will link that one here now. And overall, I love both plants. They're from different sellers, so they look completely different. This one is in a 6 inch uh, pot and it has more um, strands compared to this guy who is in a 3.5 four inch planter pot um, it originally came inside of this plastic one but I decided I wanted to repot it so I decided to repot it inside a terracotta pot so it's living inside a terracotta pot but the reason that I have it inside of here is because I hang this particular plant up so I'm happy and I'm lucky that it fits inside of here but this again is like the same size almost as this but when I received this plant I decided to downgrade the pot that it was in because I felt like for the roots the size of the roots of this plant it did not need to have so much soil um, and just so much space it does need the space to grow but these plants also like to be root bound so I like to gradually increase the pot sizes for them so moving on to the Lantarina plants um, this one of course it is does not look exactly or very close to like quality wise but 
I also do want to mention these are younger plants this one came from just like younger stock so the needles the foliage of this Hoya is definitely not going to be as thick as the foliage of my older Hoya Lola no move I'm gonna spray you get out of here go move. go 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 So this is just the backstory I can give you about this plant. So the first care tips that I can give for this plant is going to be in regards to lighting and positioning. I keep both of my Hoya Linearis in an east facing window. It is directional wise a little bit more on the northeast but it is closer to east. If I'm not mistaken I'll double check on my compass and I'll correct myself I'll try to screenshot um, like my directional compass of how I place these plants so it gets very very good Eastern light that soft daylight and not very harsh uh, afternoon evening um, sun setting light and I also water these plants now in the shower I've always watered these plants in the shower so that means I top water these plants. I do not but chug these plants, these plants for me. Um, I like to give them a shower. Every single time I uh, water this plant, it gets a shower. I take it and I bring it to my shower and I let the foliage get just like, like misted on. I change the setting on my shower head to a more of a misting setting and I let it just sit in there for honestly majority of the day until pretty much the sun kind of starts setting I'll bring this plant back out um, so I let it drip in the shower so again I do not butt chuck these plants I realized that the roots are so high up in the pot that I'd rather the top just get the water that it needs first and then the bottom you know will collect and so on and so forth but obviously that's not how watering works um the bottom will hold the water and the top will pull it up but again I like to shower my Hoya linearis like a plant like this the foliage definitely needs to be watered and these plants are also susceptible to pests like mealybugs so it's good also to just keep an eye out on these guys to you know help prevent because a plant that's full and bushy like this when it comes to like those pests it will become very irking to have to look on the undersides and the you know the crevices the joints the nodes all of that and the soil so that is my watering for this plant and I also before one last thing um, I tried to follow a routine but since the seasons have changed I have gone from winter now that we're in spring I used to water this plant maybe once every week or once every two weeks like week and a half and now I am definitely watering it um, Let's say I used to water it every seven days, I probably water it every five days. But again, all of this, I just check the soil and I just also check how light the pots are before I water them. I never want to just be like, oh, um, I'm going to stick my finger in here like, or, um, sorry. I never want to be like, all right, it's Sunday, it's watering day, I have to water this. I don't care if it's like heavy or not it's the routine I have to follow the schedule no check your pots see how heavy they are you know stick your fingers in there see how moist your substrate is and let that be the determination to whether or not your plant needs to be watered
gonna go ahead and just put this guy down here I hope you can see in regards to soil I definitely recommend a well draining sort of orchid mix filled with maybe um, some soil some peat moss some orchid bark some perlite and maybe just a bit of sand and maybe some worm casting but giving this a well draining mix is going to be very beneficial for your plant um when i first received this it was in plain full peat moss just like this is in like peat, a very peaty mix um eventually i will repot this plant and i'll do a repotting video of it but soil recommendation i definitely recommend something that is well draining for your linearis and other than that this plant is so easy to care for you give it very good indirect bright um lighting you make sure that you keep the soil uh well draining and that you keep this plant on a good watering schedule and you know, Hoyas, we know that Hoyas like to be a little bit more crap, so don't be afraid to downgrade the potting that you receive from the nursery or whatever retailer you get it from. And yeah, give it good watering, make sure the foliage, you know, is well misted. So for fertilizing, I use the Miracle Grow Orchid fertilizer for all of my Hoyas so once a week I after get watering this I then follow up once it's you know on the drier side I follow up with my orchid fertilizer and I go about my business I have yet to have these guys flower for me but I am excited for them to flower I do everything the same routine even though you know things aren't like other Hoya parents um, I just keep it you know every plant is different my conditions are different from the nursery's condition and my conditions are different from a planty friend's condition so I don't really worry or care too much uh, for flowering Hoyas but if that's what you're into you can definitely do what I do also um, and fertilize your Hoyas. I have used my aquarium water also to fertilize my Hoyas. Um, it's safe, it's natural, it's good, it's just it's feces, you know, <laughs> feces water. So you can also do that, just make sure there's no salt inside of the water because nothing salty is ever good for your plants. So that is all. Those are all the care tips and advice that I can give on this plant. And propagation wise, if you're um, interested, I realize my linearis don't really like to be suffocated. So uh, propagating this in moss is very easy and also propagating it in soil. You know, just get the nodes, the internodes, and it will root eventually I have had zero percent chance in propagating my personal plant in water so guys this is all the care tips and advice that I can give on the Hoya Linearis I told you guys about watering lighting uh, soil fertilizing and you know the last thing I definitely can say is just love your plants and be patient because we are not experts and we actually don't know exactly how these plants are feeling so the best you can do is just do your best and let them do the rest alliteration <laughs> all right guys so thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you can't see my thumbs subscribe if you aren't already Join this little kooky family because we're pretty awesome here. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video. And share, 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 share. Let me know, do you have Hoya Linearis? Do you like them? Are you going to get some? I know you guys, you know, love my Hoya Linearis videos. So 
this one is an updated now that I have two I provide them the same care uh, like the older one and this guy has been growing growing I can't complain I haven't had any I might have had like maybe like two yellow leaves but that's of course <laughs> okay you know so I will see you guys on the next one let's get growing Bye.